reckon we do something really light today? Hit, yep. me, hit me with a dish. Mate, what I'm thinking is we'll do a fish, a nice pan-seared um, sea mullet. We're going to do it with baba ganoush, which is um, so easy. Everyone buys it, but it's so easy to make. Yep. And then a really nice, fresh pomegranate tabbouleh. What we've done, sea mullet. Why we've chosen it, it's, it's affordable, it's in season, delicious, um, it's sustainable and underutilised. Tom, show me how it's done, brother. So once you learn this skill as well, I mean, you can you know you can go and fish market and you buy other types of fish, and you know you yep. just, it can be a salmon, it can be something as small as this sea mullet. Get them to take the guts and take yep. the scales off. Take the scales off. Yep. Take the guts out. All I've done here, guys, is just taken done a nice cut down at the front of the fish to the head, and a nice sharp knife is really important. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting straight along the spine. <laughs> Amazing. And that is like, that is Too what, easy. 30 Too seconds? Easy. Yeah. And if you do want to use the fish, you can use it for a stock. So, what you got left here is you've just got the, the belly part. Taking that off there. And again, it looks like you're sort of running your knife against the bone from the underneath. Yeah, you're using, using, it as a guide using your bone as a guide. Yeah. Tip of the knife, using the tip of the knife, not, not the yep. whole knife. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, you're always going to get left with a few little things. A pair of these, if you don't have them, go find some. Um, they're indispensable, for, especially when you're fish. Don't use the, the Mrs. Tweezers, though. No. Don't use the eyebrow tweezers. Done that that's, a few times. That's going to cause your mind, though. You don't want that. Exactly. <laughs> so, find the little pin bones. And what the pin bones are, they're about they're running about halfway down the fillet, and they're basically on most fish. Rip them out. Okay, so they just come out like this, nice and easy. And we'll just do one fillet today, and clean that up. And because we're just doing one, all I'm going to do Take a little bit of the end off here, okay? And I mean there, that's what you buy in the shops and that's a matter of, um, you know, that's a matter of minutes at home. And that moves on to my ingredients. Yep. So there it is, a raw eggplant to babakanush eggplant, as easy as that. All I'm pretty much gonna do is I'm just gonna run my knife over it, nice and simple, as easy as that. And I'm just gonna throw this into my bowl and we've got our tahini, so we'll just throw that in. Just squeeze the lemon into my hand just to catch them pips. You just got a little bit of um, salt flake there. And crack a bit of um, garlic in there as well, mate. Flavour, which we love. Let's get the fish on. Yep. Go for it, yeah. So, pan, we're getting it, uh, bring it up to a nice hot temperature. A little bit of oil goes in. I'm going to make a herb salad. All right, Inspired by the tabbouleh, sort of, you know, Lebanese style. Beautiful. A little bit of salt on there. And we're just going to go straight in. It's going to curl up a little bit. We can give it a little bit of a press down. By the time you make the salad, this fish will be cooked and we'll have a lunch ready to awesome. go. Awesome. All I've done is I'm just roughly chopping the parsley. Don't take all the stock. I'll just leave the rest, put it to one side. I might flip my board and I'll um, give you a hand with that. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. So if you want to maybe pick them mint leaves, we'll throw some mint in there as well, Tom. We've got some spring onion. It's going to give it a great sharpness to the salad. And we'll just go nice and fine with this. When you put in these sort of herb style salads, it's also about texture as well. Uh, it's all good, it's all good. But so, pomegranate is also, I mean, it's amazing for you. So I'm just gonna squeeze some more lemon into there. And then we've got a Lebanese cucumber. So all you can see I've done there, I've kept the seed in, I've just roughly diced that. This tabbouleh salad is looking absolutely awesome. So I'm just gonna it's grab the epic, pomegranate mate. and I'm just gonna split it in half. There's a little technique to this. So all we're going to do is we're just going to flip that pomegranate around, hold your hand, then we'll just give it a nice tap. All them seeds should pop out. Look at that. We'll mix that up. I reckon you finish off that fish and I'll start plating up. Beautiful, mate. A little bit opaque, so we're just going to flip it. Nice golden skin. While it's happening, you dress that salad and we'll, um, we'll be done. Awesome. So I've got a little bit of pomegranate molasses, going to give it a beautiful sweetness. I'll just give a nice little teaspoon of that or so. Absolutely. You bang that fish on there, Tom, and I'm just going to garnish this with this awesome immune-busting salad that we've done. Beautiful, beautiful. Wedge your lemon, I reckon. Epic. There you go, chef. There it is. Awesome. A nice little drizzle of olive oil. Mmm. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> 
There it is, motivational meal, keeping it real. Chef Tom Walton, the Northern Monkey. Set them goals, man. Right, let's get into it. In the kitchen and workout. Boom. Boom.